Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Shadow Empire with me, Qualification. This is now round 38. As you can see here, we killed 200 infantry, lost 100, we have 4 decisions and 68 reports. Uh, we have discovered water deposits. Uh, that's not exciting. Uh, a new site, guys. We are entering a time of confidence. The effect is your word score will go up every turn. The current strength is light, so we didn't get any. In 13 turns, it will come into full force. We have made it to a new epoch. We gained one fate point. We have gained universal truth, which is the feat that gives us the next um, tier of research bonus, I believe. Completed our research into the hospital. Discovered synthetic fuel. Okay, we don't really need that. We have discovered missiles. Okay, rockets to missiles. Interesting. And we have unlocked the Blitzer, which is, I think, the mechanized artillery that we were ordering. Scav teams found a stockpile in Exeter. 317 credits have been uncovered. We got a recruit junior. That's nice. And we still are getting postures, which we really don't need. And worker happiness is at 74 points. Okay. Let's take a look at the history. Go to the battle. So we had the uh, the worms attack us up there. We had um, these guys attacked, and they they were able to defeat hundred of my guys. Okay, there's worms. So Nineteen hundred worms we're estimating, but and we got attacked over here. We killed two hundred. And there was a battle between, looks like Junavale, or maybe those are the Indies, and uh, Dunkelraum. And that's it. Okay. So let's take a look at the current situation. <clears throat> and Dunkelraum has decided to come in this side now as well. Which... I think we need to... Hmm. Even with all that firepower, we would not be okay there. I'm going to move up. I'm just going to try and secure some territory that, um, well, let's try, let's go here so they don't get cut off. He can stay on the, the automated factory. He should be all right. Over here, we'll start moving. We'll go north here. I'm just getting the uh, expansion that we can. We need to move him. I think everybody's still within operational uh, command range. Although at this point, we're kind of stretching the limits of that. And we can steal that single tile and we can just hold that position as well. Junavale's right there, so they might be at war with Dunkelraum soon. Uh, right, let's take a look at our decisions. So, new research. We want to pick up, I think, the barracks and then physical storage after that. So, let's take a look, actually. It might be time for us to get a new infantry, potentially. There's the automated MG. We do want to get that. I think that's, uh, if we look at our model, ooh, wow, we have a lot of money. What's our cash flow situation look like? Okay. Just checking all that. Exeter has low happiness. That's expected. All right. Uh, cash flow. So we got our full income tax last turn. I don't understand why we got it, but we did get it. And we got a lot more credits than just that, though, because we're sitting all the way up at 1,300. I think we got, like, 400 from an event from one of these villages, but, hmm. Okay, there we go. I'm just trying to get more territory for us. These GR infantry... They're going to keep moving that way because we want to have them help push over on this flank. That entrenchment will make them pretty much impossible to dislodge there. Now, on this side... 
Hmm, we don't really seem to be projecting. Is this? Yeah, it's not aligned. Okay. And we are definitely going to be stretching the limits of supply here as well. Because this is all mountains down here. It's fine to have all those guys garrisoned in Exeter. One thing to note actually about Exeter, it has its own militancy. Well, it will have its own militancy um, score. It's an unincorporated zone, so we don't get um, any taxes or anything from it. when they sell private items. So I think what the the way the income tax works, I, I read the manual, I tried looking around to see just like where, you know, where it came from. And I think it might just be this. It might just be if there's excess private economy compared to expenses, the rest of it goes to income tax, I think. Let's see, luxuries expenses 119. No, because income tax is part of that. Hmm. Income per capita, that's going up. It was 0 0.001, I believe, before. And now it's higher. See, we actually have only 72,000 private jobs, but we have 121,000 people. So the private economy can still employ a lot more people. Actually, are they doing anything? They're building a hospice because we just researched the uh, hospital tech. So they immediately built that. I believe that's what happened anyway. As for our high command, only one turn left on that. All right, what's our other decisions? Okay, yeah, so let's review our models. Type, uh, so we do have automated MG. We don't have this. We need to discover it, so that's part of the design council. I'm curious, as far as building that unit goes, how does that work? If I raise a formation of uh, independent... Um, Tank Battalion, Motorized Artillery, Motorized MG... Oh, we haven't operationalized it yet. That's true. Our, uh, our staff council needs to integrate the automated MG before it can be built. Right, so let's actually examine our infantry, our MGs, see if we want to upgrade those yet. So we'll go to Manage, and to Model, and Design. Okay, so our infantry... Um, one thing we can do, if I'll just show this, so we can look at the, the privates here, this is the thing we started the game with, open their design log, and we can see the value they have for base design is 93, which is between 70 and 100, which is very good, it's a very good base design on this unit. Their weapon design is 93, which the base on that is 100, but it's still, like, fine, I would say. Um, and we can see, so the way the math works is basically the weapon design is multiplied by the firepower, and then that creates the, the soft defense, and then soft attack is half of that. So 93 weapon design on a 100 firepower weapon equals, you know. Um, they have automatic rifles. Do we have a better version? Let's take a look at our... Uh, new model infantry. If we wanted to build upon them, we don't. We don't have a better version of that. We do have combat armor. But we don't have a superior version to the assault rifle. Let's go to the MGs then, because this is the other big component of our army right now. And let's take a look at them. So the Axie MG. They have a base design of 92. Again, very high. 98 weapon design. They don't have armor, so, you know, there's no no armor design there. But we can go ahead and develop them. And in their case, we're going to build upon them. And we'll use the advanced machine gun with padded enviro suits. Okay. So we'll have a new version of the MG. Also, we have so much um, manpower that I think we might just start doing some upgrades on these units. Um, which, let's see, I think we click on this, and then we do upgrade. Oh, wait, these are, those are privates too. Let me go select their privates. One, here. 
So we can just upgrade that to Privates 2. It would cost very little for us to do that, so let's do it. And can we just do mass upgrade? In all units belonging to the same strategic headquarters, all Privates to Privates 2, there's 24 of them, would cost us that much. So sufficient logistic points to each unit never guaranteed, right? So let's do it. All right, we should we got rid of all of our privates now, theoretically. <clears throat> so we should only have privates two everywhere. Which the only guys who are still using privates actually were the green team. We can see that these guys are out of the logistical range for that. Um so let's see, if we wanted to go straight through, that'd be 320, which we have 1700. And it wants me to take that, Whoop, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Well, okay, I misclicked, but that's our new road. That's, that's fine, that supplies both of them. That cost us uh, 400, roughly, points. Um, now it will be through forests here. So getting down from the mountain costs 400 and then, okay, so no, just going through the forest is 400. Do we want to do that? I, I think we go and we direct our roads this direction now. So it would cost us 1144 IP to get to here. I think we have to do that, pretty much. Let's do it. Okay, so that's most of our IP is spent now. And we'll go and toggle move. Um, these are our chemical warriors, yeah. So the blue team, we're gonna have them those guys are fine where they are. Is the headquarters with them? Yeah. Move them up a little bit. These guys are going to swoop around from this angle. Okay, anything else we need to do? I don't think so there. Decisions. <clears throat> Rebels and Exeter. Okay, well, we have the PP, so let's give our full support. Okay, more Rebels deployed than expected. So there's Rebels here. Um, and was that it? I think that's the only rebels that are there. So we should be able to deal with these relatively quickly. We have most of our guys kind of in a position for it already. Uh, anyway, decisions. Uh, Governor of Exeter, what do we want to do? We don't need any recruits from Exeter. Don't need to do any of that. Emergency food, we don't want that. We're going to leave them unincorporated. Yeah, these are all fine orders. Let's play our Recruit Junior card. Maybe we'll get someone good. And, ooh, we have Ancient Archives. Right, I forgot we had that tech. Um, Might be worth it to play that, because we just have five uh, Fate Points we're sitting on. I think we'll do this. Maybe we'll get something good. Tactical nuke. Okay, that's interesting. Let's go look at the tech tree for that. So tactical nuke is in here. It allows you to produce big shell-like tactical nukes. Can be fired by a modified howitzer. So I think if we were to design an artillery unit that we could select that as its weapon, the tactical nuke, of course, that does have some drawbacks, mainly um, creating radiation um, that we'd have to deal with, but interesting stuff, that. Okay, and do we want to play any other strat cards this turn? We have a recruit merc, a bunch of PP. We have private investments that we could play, but I'm not really going to bother down there. We do have these, right? So we'll play a commercial project in um, in Exeter. It's free, so commercial area asset, asset has been upgraded. 
that improves worker happiness. I guess the, the capital could use that because it's kind of people are a little bit sad. Worker happiness uh, plus eight, non-workers minus three. Okay. And we can give this to our leader. We may want to do that. Give it to Brent Redway because he's the guy that does all of our diplomacy, I think. Before we do that, let me look at the strat card for covert ops. No, uh, majors, yeah. So to open contact, that would be Brent Redway. Okay. Let's do it with him then. Spotter drones I am interested in, but that's kind of like something we'd apply to an artillery unit. Now applying it to the tactical nuke artillery unit, that would be quite nice, I think. All right, let's go ahead and give him the Shadow Diplomat, which is going to give him a bonus to his next Diplo roll. If we want to open contact with them, we have a, you know, basically a 70% chance to succeed at this. Well, 60%. 60-40 is kind of the split we're doing. Okay, good. We did it. We have now got contact between us and Dunkel Realm. Um... So, you know, they have to declare war on us if they want to attack us. That's basically what that means. Alright, I think that's everything we need to do for this turn. One thing we could consider, actually, in Exeter is building some things. Uh, maybe we build... Do we have the resources, really? Eh. Actually, one thing we do want to look at is the metal soil filtration. Like, what's the, what's the cost of that? So we'll just look right here outside of Gap Mount. Mining. Uh, wind traps will give us water. Where is it? Uh, soil demetallization facility. Has to be built inside the city. Requires power and workers, and it produces a bunch of resources. Now, it does require high techs. Four high techs, to be exact. And four machines. A bunch of metal. Like, a ridiculous amount of metal. But this is honestly our only way to get that resource. I think we'll buy, gosh, those are expensive, 368. There's only three of them as well. Could buy all of them for 1100. Hmm. Maybe we sell off some of our rare earths, because those are pretty valuable. My goodness, metal's worth almost six credits a piece. That's ridiculous. That is so... This is the highest I've ever seen metal to get. Uh, anyway, we'll sell off a bunch of rare earths for 240 credits. Okay. Now we will buy all three high-tech parts for... Actually, hold on. Maybe we have a better way to do this. We do have a vault. Are there high-tech parts in the vault? Where is it? Is it in zones? Treasure Hoard. So the Treasure Hoard has rare earth metals and fuel. High tech vault. Yeah, this is our best bet on that. So we do need a couple of fate points. In that case, why don't we play one of the, the nasty cards? We'll just play Radiation Leak. Yeah, it'll give us a zone increase to danger. Danger's not a huge problem for us, though. So that affected Gap Mount. 32 points. Um, okay. And now we can play our high-tech vault in gap mount. 55 machines, 266 rare metals, 15 high-tech parts. Okay. We now have the resources. Well, except for the metal to do this, I think. Uh, what's danger actually at now? 32? That's not a big deal. Yeah, that's fine. We can... That, that's gonna cause, like, some um, happiness problems, but we have a lot of bonuses to that in the cap. Our power generation will be sufficient for this. So the soil demetallization facility will cost us 1200 metal 375 a turn which what, did, what if we wanted to just spend all of our money buying metal 
Only 135 and we'd get, we'd have to spend 1,000 credits for it. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, then maybe what we do is we first upgrade the recycling facility. Yeah, let's get the recycling facility upgraded. Once we upgrade the recycling facility, then uh, why don't we have the parts yet? Is that going to be next turn we get them or something? Anyway, uh, once we get the recycling facility, that'll give us 120 income compared to what we currently make, which is... Uh, what is our metal production? One Okay, 120, so we'll double it effectively. Double our metal production, and what if we built another one down here, actually? If we wanted to build a... Is there no scavenging here? No, there's zero scav. Wow. Well, is there scav here, here? Is there anywhere we could put scav? There's here, but of course that's outside of the radius of our cap. And here is a very good one with 12k, but that's also not near a city. Okay. Hmm. Well then, it looks like our best bet is to just upgrade the existing... Um, upgrade the existing recycling center. And possibly upgrade it again. That would cost us four machines, and we can definitely afford the, the construction costs. Then that'll give us um, 160 metals, would give us 40 more. Okay, so we're only gaining 40 metal, 40 metal from this upgrade, which means it would be 80 increased. I mean, it's going to be very expensive for us to do this. What about selling some resources? Do we have anything we can sell? Fuel is not valuable. We do have rare earths, which are valuable. We do have a lot of food, so maybe we sell some of our food. And food's actually very, very valuable right now. So what if we sold off the vast majority of our food for almost three grand? Okay. Now, we have 3,800 credits available. We could buy all the metal that's around. That doesn't even get us one turn of construction on this, though. That's how ridiculously expensive metal is. Okay, well. A thousand credits, we'll do it, we'll buy it. We got a little bit better deal because of our guy. Anyway, we'll end the turn there. This is a dilemma I've never seen quite to this degree, where simply we just don't have access to metal. One thing we could do is build outside of Gap Mount's um, administrative zone, and then that would create reduced production, but it would still give us more than nothing. Yeah, it's a, it's a tough situation we're in. I mean, maybe the advantage of this, though, uh, it's possible that our neighbors are similarly deprived. I mean, the way the market works, as I understand it, that is, when you talk to the traders, is all of your neighbors, basically, it, it calculates their stocks, and then what's valuable is based on, like, what nobody has. So if we don't have metal, I don't think Dunkel Ram has metal. None of the miners will have metal. So we might actually be, if we get this metal or demetalization from the soil, that might be a huge advantage over the other powers. I mean, it's actually really cheap too, though. It's one thing to consider. So 1,600 infantry killed. That's crazy. I guess maybe the rebels attacked us, and then they got slaughtered. We have two decisions and 62 reports. More water deposits. Time of confidence. We gained one word. We were already at like 80-something, so that's pretty pretty wild. Good. We're starting to get more of these stocked up, which I'm, I'm very happy with. 
Let's take a look at the history and see what crazy battle happened here. Yeah, that's what happened. Wow, there's a lot of them in here, but they attacked our uh, our mechs, and our mechs slaughtered them. And over here there was a battle, but nothing of significance happened. And then over here there was a battle, and we, we slaughtered them. That's the power of entrenchment, by the way. That's the unit that's in the ruins. And they were attacked, and even these Archus Sestotas just were crushed in that fight. And here we were attacked by, it looks like, the Dai Sestotas, and we were able to hold. So quite a lot of battles that turn, but we didn't take any losses. So, what have we got? Can we get anyone here? Not quite. Okay, What's our, our metal situation is is even because it's all going into ooh, what's this my private economy is building a dome dome farm interesting i guess they need more food it's possible we never uh, nationalized this dome farm so i guess maybe their population is just getting to the point where uh private food is needed yeah it looks like they only have a surplus of 16 i mean they have plenty stockpiled but yeah so our income tax is back down again i don't know why Anyway, they're going to have a dome farm up, and that's just free food for us, because <laughs> we don't require any resources to operate that. It doesn't take water, it doesn't take anything. All it does is gonna it's going to give jobs to the private economy. Um, this is going to go up, and we're going to just take a slice of what they produce, which for the service tax, I think ours is like, you know, like 10-15% or something. It's not going to be a huge amount of food, but it's free. All right, so let's move everybody up here. This guy, uh, he's apparently still in supply. So we can kind of do some, some tricky stuff here. Now, what if we want to attack? Yeah, we don't want to attack. Okay, so yeah, they can move in these tiles, but they're going to be surrounded and destroyed very quickly. GR guys, we'll have them move up. So we do have a unit down here. Go ahead and get Lang on. We don't know what it is, even with the recon buggies. Interesting. As for the recon buggy itself... So we do have plenty of enemies out here. No sign of uh, other uh, miners or majors. Uh, it's possible, okay, so there's steel, steel Sage is way out there. I can't believe these guys are still alive. They've actually almost made it to our territory. And there you go. They're now supplied. Or, well, not really, but they are, they could be supplied. And we need to move here, and yeah. I mean, we just had to do that in order to get this piece. But we do have this locked up now, which is cool. The Bone Tola Sea here. Now, as I understand it, the designer of this uh, game, uh, Vic, is is intending to add. Uh, nice. He's intending to add um, naval and air stuff. Okay, so we did manage to get Karao. That's good. So these guys, just leave them in place for now. Uh, the infantry command, I guess we'd move him up. Everybody's up. And maybe we move him here. I think that's one, two, three, four. So it's a little bit out. He's going to have a little bit of an operational command penalty, but nothing huge. And we already moved all these guys. Well, this guy can move. He could attack, but we're going to leave him in place. Now, Exeter itself, what's the situation? Ooh, nice. Light industry. We aren't getting anything because it's unincorporated. We don't get um, our slice of the private economy unless they're in an incorporated zone. And we're not incorporating these guys because they have no cultural adaptation. Um, fertile process, okay. Oh, that's the population growth, I see. Tradition, mm -hmm. interesting. So yeah, uh, over time, once the population becomes happier, then they will start to become culturally adapted. And eventually, when they get 100, we can we can uh, integrate them. Apparently, our culture name is Queen Shiruk, which is uh, why, I assume, the rebels are called Queen's Rebels. OK, 
Okay, I'm just kind of thinking maybe we want to cut these guys off. Uh, uh, they're both worm dogs, or, you know, effectively worm dogs. These guys already move. We do have a free movement there. Do we want to? Yeah, we'll move up. Lingon is exposed, but maybe they just won't go into that tile. Chambers wants to execute rebel relative. That's Governor of Exeter. Uh, I know this is regular. My honor's involved. My son is committed to crime against an allied family. They demand justice. And this is a profiles thing. And yeah, we're going to say no. Not we, we have continually said no every time that event has popped up, or a variation of it has popped up. Battle Dojo discovered in Gap Mount. We discovered a Battle Dojo. It was quite well hidden, but the flow of trainees caught our eye. We could enlist the Dojo's instructors and improve the experience of all our militia units with 9%, or we could allow the Battle Dojo to continue its operations and receive 200 recruits around. Um, free recruits is, I mean, that's better. That's just better than militia experience. It is going to give us 12 enforcement, which we don't really want. But we also aren't controlling, so that's fine. We're going to allow it to continue. Which is huge. Free recruits forever, basically. Uh, I can't believe this guy actually made it all the way over here. But we know, because of him, that this area here is all non-aligned. It's all up for grabs. Possibly down here there could be a state, but honestly, I'm kind of doubting it based on the, all these non-aligns. Maybe there's like a slave empire out there or something, but no way to say for sure. Uh, we do want to probably build this road farther. Do we have the uh, IP? Okay, we have a little bit of IP, so let's go ahead. Where are we at here? Construct road. Dirt. And we'll just spend the 80 to get right up to the front, and these guys can be easily supplied. How does our uh, logistical situation look? Okay, so these guys are going to probably take from over here now. Exeter's fine. And uh, these guys are all fine. They're all supplied. They're only getting partials, though. If we look at their supply rating on this unit, all they need is 10 food, so they don't really need that much. And these guys literally don't require supply. Okay. Um, hmm. Well, we could just move there. Take a square from the uh, from the Dunkel Ram. What's this? They've got ruins on there. Uh, looks like this is probably Dunkel Ram's cap. Looks like our spy. Oh no, this is because our contact opened, so we can see the extent of Dunkelraum here. They've got three cities, which, yeah, they've got one more than us, but I wouldn't say that they're that advantaged, honestly, over us. Particularly if they don't have metal income. Now, if they do have metal income, then we're going to be struggling for a little while here. I guarantee our private economy is more developed than theirs, though. What do they got here? Sewers, police station, arena, transport hub, museum. Mm -hmm. Sewers, interesting. We haven't, we don't have this building anywhere. Uh, this just gives health. I assume there's a tech that is needed for that. And that's their cap. That's where their dome farm three is. It's gold, gold cron. And I didn't see any mines. I mean, it's possible that they do have mines out here somewhere, but we didn't see them. Incidentally, I'm interested in checking our water. Okay, we have plenty of water. Is the private economy built one of these things yet? Dome farm. I just want to see if they've built a water uh, pump yet. Doesn't look like it, no. But they do have the option to do it. Okay. I think that's everything we need to worry about, so let's go to the next turn. Okay, things are definitely getting interesting now. We are uh, kind of opening up. It's been a long time we've been contained within the relatively tiny borders of, you know, South Central, or wh whatever part of the map we are on. And now, finally, we are getting a bigger picture of the world.
I do find it amusing that our, our vault gave us a tactical nuke. I think we can actually use it too. We just need to develop a new artillery model that fires tact nukes. Or possibly the way that tactical nukes work might just be like side skirts on tanks, which is once you research them, they just get applied to the uh, artillery units. I'm guessing probably not, because I imagine tactical nukes are a special um, piece of equipment and probably require radioactives to build, which we don't have any radioactives income, but uh, interesting thing to think about at any rate. Okay, game, what do we got? We killed 100 infantry, lost nobody. Three decisions, 72 reports. Fuel deposits. Time of confidence. And we didn't gain any word. Yeah. Got the barracks, okay. Have completed our model, Axie MG2. We'll take a look at that. We've discovered medium tanks. We've discovered the order of battle for light armor. We can't really build tanks, we don't have the metal. So it's kind of moot point as far as we're concerned. We are a very infantry-focused country, given our lack of of metal. Uh, organization factions, one stratagem, only one. It's a plea of friendship. Yeah. All right, let's take a look at the history. What battle did we have? The dogs attacked our recon trucks, and surprisingly, they actually didn't kill anybody, and they lost the battle. Now, we did get locked out there. That's not good. But we can really quickly fix this. So just move here and then and maybe just leave them there for now. Okay, so that guy's almost over there. Now on this front. There we go. We kinda got them bottled in here. And we have another state over here, Schwarzbund. Another major, interesting. So their color is the same as Dunkelraum, basically. I think it's a little bit more brown colored, but they are over here. Now, them attacking us is ridiculously infeasible just because of this terrain. You can see, I mean, trying to fight through this, like, polar mountain area of the planet is just not going to be feasible. Anyway, uh, let's take a look at this. If we attacked with everybody we can attack with, eight to one odds. Uh, let's do it. And we lost a couple guys. Let's zoom out. Our sentinels are slaughtering them with as long as their AP will last. So we kind of crushed them. They did hold, but we killed way, way more of them than they killed of us. You can see our operational HQ bonus was helping out there. Strategic headquarters, not so much, but uh, that's all well and good. Uh, let's replenish. Also, we can turn off the supply map mode. Replenish, privates two, we got three of them. And that's only going to cost us that, okay. Alright, let's take a look at our uh, new infantry that we got. Which is to say, our new um, machine gun model. So, base design, 121. Very, very high. Very good uh, roll there. 98 weapon, 90 armor, so these are below average. Not really that much below average, but they're slightly worse than they could be. Uh, firepower 200, yeah. Okay, so these are going to be about twice as good um, as the other. A little bit better than twice as good, I think. Maybe exactly, maybe evenly. But uh, the important thing is the HP value is higher now. So that means that in combat, they will be much more resilient. And in terms of upkeep, they cost the same, one food. So this is just a straight up like upgrade over the previous. I think what we'll do, we'll put out the, um, so we have this much income in these resources. All right. How much is this? Is it done yet? Okay, construction finished. So we're not building anything right now. 
do we build the next level of recycling? We have 60 machines. We can definitely afford it. If we wanted to construct recycling four, that would give us 40 more metal per turn. We need 375 to actually do soil demetallization, which we could just save up for a while. <sighs> that would add oil to our uh, recycling income. What's the current worker cost here? It's barely anything more. I think we do this. I mean, it just makes sense. Let's start the upgrade here. We are going to need... We're going to need like 1,500 metal banked. What if we look at the trades? What do we got? 115 for 8 credits a pop. That's not really what we're looking for. Food is tapered off bigly. I mean... It's worth 0.12, which is still kind of high for food, but, you know, we're, no, we're not going to get the huge, massive income we got before when we sold food. Okay. These walkers really just devastated them. Anyway, uh, we were in the middle of upgrading our MGs, so we'll go to our axes, and we'll say mass upgrade. Everybody in the strategic headquarters to axie 2. And there are 20 of them. It would cost us this much resources. It's worth it. We're going to mass upgrade it. Okay. Not everybody's going to be able to receive that immediately, but we do now have the... Uh, we do now have the stuff in the field, so... Yeah, these guys are now axi twos. Are these better than privates? Yeah, they're better than privates, just straight up. Their soft attack is higher, their HP is higher. They do require more ammo, I think. Yeah, they require more ammo, but um, that's the only downside to them. I think they also move slower, but that's not really a concern for battle. All right, did we do everything over here? No, okay, so. Let's move here, get recon. Okay, these units we can probably kill with the uh, GR infantry. Decisions. We finished our research into the barracks. Mm -hmm. I think sealed roads is our next target. I said physical storage before, but we really don't have anything we're banking that much, so sealed roads will give us better supply infrastructure. Uh, it does cost more IP to build, but once you build it, it's just a permanent straight upgrade. <clears throat> We have a lot of potential models we could uh, build now. Did we already do mechanized artillery? Yes, we didn't. We did not do mechanized artillery. Uh, recon buggies. No, we don't care about that. I'm... I don't know. What do we want to build? We already have infantry. We already have MGs. The trucks and the recon buggies aren't really help us much. APCs could be interesting. We do have a light tank model. Interest, actually, let's check this out. If we build up on this... 240mm howitzer gun... Okay, so yeah, that's not how that works. What about if we go to the model screen and look at the techs for artillery? Conventional gun. So these guys are using conventional guns, but we didn't build them when we had nuclear weapons. Tactical nukes, that is. Uh, hmm. Again, the main issue with building any of these uh, vehicles is that we just don't have metal. I think we do have plenty of fuel for what that's worth. Yeah, we've got plenty of fuel income. Uh, maybe we build our first light tank um, regiment. All right, let's look at this. Waste disposal and exeter. A nasty accident occurred while cleaning up foul-smelling waste. You're cleaning up as quickly as possible. No casualties, but there is widespread nausea and population perceives as a potential danger. So, we'd be administration. So she's good at administration, plus 88. Yeah, we're going to give our full support. Costs us a handful of political points. And it was, uh, it was able to succeed. So her base roll was 94, which is almost perfect. 
then plus 50 because of our support, and plus 10 because of our health points in the zone. So that was good. Okay. Hmm. What is our model of artillery actually like? I want to check that again. The howitzer design, base design 1, 91, 94. This is low, though. These are low. We might just restart, scrap the howitzer, and go again. What did we, what did we put on this thing? 105 millimeters with padded enviro suits. Yeah, I think we do it. I think we do indeed uh, redo our artillery because um, it's going to cost 160 to do a brand new design. But the howitzer is just bad. It's only going to get 80% of what it should. So we're going to keep with the. Well, we may actually increase now. Just say straight up the biggest guns we can. Yeah, let's just go with the biggest guns we can and padded enviro suits. Okay, and those are the artillery that we are pulling by hand or by horse or something. So, doesn't really matter how much they weigh. Okay. Everyone else can stay in position there. Now on this front, we can move up. Let's go down here and wipe that out. Good, that guy's outside of the range of everything, but just needed to explore that. We do have a lot of oil resources out here. And these guys are really out of supply. So, what's the problem there? Did our POS not reach this? I don't think they have enough AP to get out here. So we can build a truck station here. It'd be very cheap for us to do. <clears throat> and by truck station, what I actually mean is a supply base. Five fuel, okay, 50 metal and 50 uh, industrial points. Let's just build that. And we did lose this. Because they moved. Definitely don't want to allow Dunkelrom to seize that territory. So, what do we do? Do we attack it? No. I think we start moving like that and we'll we'll go back to secure oh yeah that's gonna be a problem i mean we can still use that road now let's see if we can raise a light tank formation light tank battalion what are our light tanks like actually before we do that let me just check are they any good not really pretty bad pretty bad all across the board um What's their upkeep? The Blitzer has 4.2 fuel per hex. Uh, I mean, it's still stronger. I, we'll just do an independent uh, Blitzer, and we'll probably have to decommission this at some point. But what's the what's the cost to build this? Ooh, that's a lot of metal. Never mind. We won't do that. Um, <clears throat> maybe just an independent infantry. A thousand recruits, 40 industrial. Yeah, let's do. Ooh, independent MG, I like that. 500 MGs. Let's go with this. Axie twos in the cap. There we go. Now these guys are stronger, more resilient. They're still not exactly like a combat walker or something. Okay. Just checking to make sure I moved everyone. We do have these guys we could move. We're not gonna. All right. And the private economy is building something here as well. What are they building? No, that's me. I'm crazy. That's my supply base. I just ordered the construction up. Okay, let's end the turn. And this is gonna be a little bit of a longer video, but I think we're uh, covering a lot of interesting ground. So we'll just keep it rolling probably take this as the last turn for this part hmm. 
so many things we have to think over right now. Including how awful our light tank design is. I mean, it's going to get... <laughs> it's going to get on average 80% of what it should be getting. If we can just deal with these, you know, indies to our north, then that front will be solidified. Alright, what have we got? Looks like the Queen's Rebels attacked us, so we'll see what happens with that battle. <clears throat> Guessing it's probably not going to go well for them. We killed 700, lost 10 tanks. Ooh, I think that means our walkers, one of our walkers got destroyed. Four decisions, 71 reports, fuel deposits, uh -huh. we got wealthy friends, sealed roads is complete, new technology, serpentization, serpentinization, one of the more far out there ideas, but we can, if we can spare the water, we have an idea to speed up the natural process of serpentization of rocks. If it works, we could release we could use the energy that would be released. Okay, so that's like a power plant thing. Guided RPGs, it would improve RPGs. We don't have any RPG units. Assault infantry, that's with light tanks. Nothing important there. Okay, IP production. Uh-huh. Producing ammo, we do have low ammo. We need to fix that. Let's go ahead and do that right now, actually. Workshop, we'll just make like, uh, make like, 700 ammo. There we go. Okay. Now let's take a look at the history. See what battles happened. Next battle. We had an attack here. We killed 200 of the worms. And we got an attack here. We killed 200 worms. And another attack. Killed more worms. And we had an attack here. Okay, that was not tanks. It was just uh, recon buggies. And we won that too. Okay, good. Then, let us commence with the assault here. We don't really need to use all these units in this fight. Uh, I want to preserve, if possible, this guy. Eh, it doesn't really matter that much, actually. Take him out of the running, and take him out of the running. Wait a minute, that's the co-centric, okay. Uh, yeah, that's fine, 33 to one, should be all right. Should be able to wipe them out. Zoom out here. There we go. Slaughtered them, destroyed them all. We did lose a couple of our uh, chemical warriors there. Are these guys wearing Enviro suits? I think they are. They look like they are. So they weren't getting super devastated by the chemical weapons. But Anyway, uh, so that's that. Move this guy here. Do need to re, uh, replenish troops here. We can give him privates too. One of them. There you go. And we do need to replace the buggies that were destroyed. We'll move the MGs up here. These soldiers can move here. And then we wanted to attack these. 1.6 to 1. Not great odds, but I don't know. There's the battle dojo that's giving us free recruits. 200 a turn, even. Very nice stuff. Let's just move over here. And we didn't gain any tiles, so presumably it's right here. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. And they're building a museum. Supply base didn't get finished. I think there wasn't enough uh, delivery to get all the resources out there. Was the problem. Over here, we have this guy uh, cutting us off from supply, actually, interestingly enough. 
Well, why don't we do this, and then uh, this militia guy can come over here. Look at all this oil over here. I mean, we will be, if we get the metal income, we'll be ready to do a big tank army. And we'll just leave that how it is. Maybe we just do that so they can't cut us off. And we can't really attack here. We do it, we'd have 1.1 to attack with. If we do it from that angle, then we'd have 1.6. Yeah, I mean, these are privates too. I think we just have to, we have to do it. We have to start killing these things. All right, good. Destroyed it. Good. Worth it. Now our combat walker can go over here. Apparently there's still territory to claim past Karao, so that's nice. Maybe just to do that. Okay. Over here, there's this guy. So we're just gonna keep marching. Now the GR infantry, we're gonna move him closer to the supply lines. In fact, move him back a little bit because he has been out of supply for a while. Say we want to attack from all these directions here. I think we can do it. Oof. We did take some heavy casualties there. A scav team. Uh, we took uh, we took two, three hundred thirty trucks worth of losses, and we did manage to get a couple kills. So I guess it was more or less an even trade. And then these are worms. This front has already moved. That's moved, that's moved, yep. Alright, what's the construction look like here? We built recycling three. We've got enough metal for one turn of uh, construction on the... Uh, one turn of construction on the um, thing, the big thing. Bureaucrat office is level three. Could easily build it. We just don't have the, uh, the workers, I think, to pull it off. University, hospital, barracks, red treatment, logistics. I mean, I think we have to go to Recycling 4, so let's just start the construction of that. Down in Exeter, we can't do anything with them. We do have a card we can play on. Let's look at our decisions. National budget, do we change anything? I think we're fine on that. Everything's fine. Model design. Uh, we'll change this. We'll be more equal. 50-50. Economic Council can now... What the heck does Serpentization do? Let's see if we can read that tech and find out what it actually does. Serpentization. Uh -huh. So that's a... It's just turn water into energy. That's what it is. Vidcom Broadcasting... Gain water from the lithosphere, so presumably that's turn uh, energy into water. We don't need that. Might pick up the next. Uh, it might pick up uh, VidCom broadcasting, and then that will enable us to get um, machinery potentially. The way it works, as I understand, is once you have researched two techs in a uh, well, not two. I think if if you've researched 40% of the text in a tree... Okay, no. Once you've researched three. So it's just per thing. So three or more. Three. Three. Might just be three. Yeah, it's three across the board. So we're researching high-speed machine gun already. That'll be done maybe next turn. 
we can get VidCom Broadcasting really quickly as well. I think we'll do that. We'll go for VidCom Broadcasting. Try to get uh, engineering taken care of. Ancient Underground Complex in Gap Mount. Ooh, this is interesting. Very interesting. Let's take a look at our profiles. We've actually got... I do want to check. We haven't checked our feats in a while. Let's look at that. Uh, profiles. So, Universal Truth. We're gaining a Cultural Adjustment bonus. Next will be Scientific Religion for research. Wealthy Friends gives us a Commerce bonus. Uh, capable Supervisors. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Anyway, uh, I think we're going to talk to the AI. This is from our extremely good orator. His orator skill is 77. And we have a plus 85 to this roll. It would give us one mind, which doesn't really matter, but we could learn from it. Let's try it. Roll to 160 versus difficulty level negative 5. Gave me a long discourse on high gal galactic ethics. Finally, it shared information that allowed our scientists to discover security tactics. Okay, so we discovered a tech. What is security tactics? Is that in, even in a tree we control? Mm, yeah, it's part of applied management, which is accessible to us. It's part of the applied sciences, though, which we can't... Um, we don't have the applied science council, so we can't do that. What security tactics do? Improve the efficiency of your barracks. And that improves entertainment, that improves health, and that improves education. Okay, so that's all just bonuses to um, civilization. Hmm. So possibly next turn we get VidCom Broadcasting and High Speed Machine Gun, and that opens up machinery and maybe applied engineering to us. Which the only thing we can get in applied engineering would be the military techs, so we get Mm, we don't have uh, energy small arms, which we have to get from. Gas-powered small arms is good. Yeah, that's like modern bullets, which we don't have yet. Where is the energy weapons on here? There's walkers there. Deep core mining. This is stuff we could definitely benefit from. There we go, energetics, and right here is where we would get laser rifles, laser guns. That's how we could get to production of high-tech resources. Interesting stuff. What's our uh, cash flow look like? Positive, apparently. Sold a bunch of water, yeah. Okay. Oh boy, a lot going on right now, a lot going on. But, uh, did we do everything we need to do this turn? Everybody's replenished? No. We need to get some more of these. Need to replenish this big time. Cost a lot of resources to do that, though. Still, we have to do it. Over here we dealt with the Rebellion. Getting those guys hemmed in have this up here. This is dealt with more or less. Okay. Hmm. Let's take this off and just survey our, our empire here. You can see we actually have quite a lot of territory under our control now. Quite a lot of it indeed. I think we actually may have more than Dunkelram does in terms of just raw hexes. Hard to say for sure, but I think we definitely come close to his raw hex size. And we have all this room out here to expand to. Anyway, uh, that's all for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.